Wuhan lab. So uh, today, the Department of Health and Human Services uh, issued a letter uh, announcing the suspension of uh, Wuhan Institute of Urology's access to U.S. government federal funding, uh, both in the short run and in the long term. Now, it, it, the Wuhan lab has not received any federal funding uh, since uh, July of uh, 2020, but it, it is now uh, suspending all funding, uh, and, and the reason is that the Wuhan Institute of Virology has disregarded NIH numerous requests to provide the required materials to back up the research in the grant progress reports. The NIH's conclusion that the WIV research likely violated protocols of the NIH regarding biosafety is undisputed, the memo states. It continues, as such, there is risk that WIV, WIV is the Wuhan Institute of Virology, not only previously violated, but is currently violating and will continue to violate protocols of the NIH on biosafety. Uh, the WIV, you may know, received uh, NIH funding through its partnership with EcoHealth Alliance, which is a U.S.-based nonprofit, and a collaborator with WIV on coronavirus research, generally coronaviruses. Um, it hasn't received, as we said, it hasn't received any funding since July of 2020. Um, they, they have 30 days to respond, although it's unlikely they will respond. Um, but it does look like that relationship is uh, toast. And, and it's more support, I think, for the uh, idea that the COVID-19 was unleashed by, from a lab, accidentally from a lab, and that the Chinese authorities have engaged in three years now of uh, cover-up of, uh, of that fact. They, they, I think the Chinese authority know whether it's an animal transmission or a lab leak, they know f for, for, for a fact which one it is, and, and they're, not, they're not disclosing everything that they know about this. So um, uh, it, it, really is, it, it really is concerning. It would be nice to know from the NIH all the labs that they fund, their locations, and uh, whether they are uh, whether they think that uh, these labs are up to uh, the, the kind of safety standards. Uh, the NIH is just another government bureaucracy, and I, I don't trust who they're giving money to, and I don't trust that they're managing to follow up and making sure that the money is being used the way it should be used and the safety is up, uh, up to standards. Um, and it, it, it's amazing to me it's taken three years for the NIH to cut off the WIV given how much they've been stonewalled. Now, just as a related story somewhat, another story that hit this week is the fact that it's very likely that official, in spite of what RFK says, that official government data about deaths from COVID in China is probably very, very, very underestimated. That is, that the government has purposefully um, uh, underestimated the number of people who have died from COVID in China, in spite of the fact that RFK thinks the Chinese are genetically somehow immune from COVID. Uh, during, uh, during this last week, some data was published, right, um, on a government website uh, that uh, suggested that the number of cremations in an eastern province of Zhejiang rose to 171,000 in the first quarter of this year, of 2023. Uh, there were 72 more cremations, roughly 70% increase, than had been reported in the same time period last year. And this is exactly the same period also that China went off of COVID-0 and opened everything up, right? But yet China's official death toll from the start of the pandemic till today is 83,150. So, um, uh, you know, an, an unbelievably remarkable low number. And yet just this one province in one period of time, one quarter, had double the efficient rate for all of China. 
that these are people who've died from COVID. Uh, that tells you something about uh, how much to trust uh, numbers coming out of uh, China, and, and I, you know, and, and how much China's really been engaged in um, propaganda to try to hide from its own people the true cost of COVID and 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 uh, the true cost of what's probably not guaranteed, but probably uh, the uh, uh, the leak from a, a, a Chinese facility. Uh, rough estimates. Uh, uh, rough estimates of the number of people uh, who uh, probably died in um, in uh, the COVID from COVID in China is is somewhere around uh, a minimal of uh, one to one point five million people, uh, and that's just for when China announced the zero COVID policy. So that's just in the last six months, uh, it, really in the first quarter of the year. Uh, they are estimating that about 1 to 1.5 million people died of COVID during that period. Remember, China had, did not have a vaccine, or to the extent that they had a vaccine, it was a vaccine that was useless and, and did not work at all.